Hey, opposing good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the recap of the great 4 to 3. Very emotionally driven win for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. A great, exciting win is Garrett Melkoff in his second game coming up from the Utah Grizzlies. After having a roller coaster collegiate career, but a great start to his professional career. The ECHL is having a great two-game start to professional career at the AHL level with their Lehigh Valley Phantoms. As well as the shots were 42 to 16. He only allowed in three goals. Uh, one was a scramble at the at the net um, at the end of the game. Another was a field or bare ball goal. Excuse me. He was able to capture it in the slot and just shoot it on net. So he didn't have much of a chance in that. And then Pustinen was wide open in front of the net, so he didn't have much of a chance on the goals against. But he was the star of the game. He starred in this game. The first and foremost reason the Lehigh Valley fan were able to be in the game in the third in order to play a great third period and get this win was because of Garrett Melkoff. I'm actually surprised that they didn't switch the first and third star. I thought Lena Sandin was great in all facets of the game, whether it was um on defense or on offense. Obviously, he potted the two goals. He was the other star. Him and Melkoff starred. But I was kind of surprised because it was in Wilkesbury. Obviously, you know they're going to put one of their guys in there too, which was Felix Robert. I was just surprised they didn't flip them because the goaltender, I would say, is the first and foremost reason the Phantoms won this game. He kept them in this game in the third period. Made a bunch of key saves, including before the Sandine goal to go up 2-1. He made two key saves. Then the Phantoms went right back down the ice line as Sandine was able to score second. The first was great, efficient passing. Yes, this is talking about the Phantoms' power play. Great, efficient passing on the power play. If that can happen, if the Wade Allison power play with Wade on it, I don't think he'll be called up by tomorrow's game. I saw Nitty Gritty's Chris Mayer of our great Flyers Nitty Gritty that I do stuff for as well tweet out that there's that um <clears throat> that he um would like to see that happen. I don't think that happened by tomorrow. I would say the earliest should be probably by Monday, but we'll have to see. I've been wrong before. But um Wade Allison having him in the power play for the couple games he will be down coming back from his shoulder or elbow, excuse me, uh injury after rehabbing his ankle injury. It's going to add a lot of energy to the power play. You have Lyon Sandin in the slot. He's able to shoot it low, and he's able to get the goal. That was a really nice goal there. He was a star of the game, and Garrett Melkoff was a star of the game. As far as I'm concerned, those are the first two stars of the game because Lyon Sandin was really the guy that was driving the energy and kind of really seemed to be, like I said, forechecking while playing great on defense, leading it to the offense, playing great in transition, blocking shot. Like, he was doing everything that was helping to get the team going on top of the way Garrett Melkamp was playing. Those two were the, the energizing forces of the team in the first two periods when it wasn't too pretty. And then in the third, obviously, they were able to find their goal as Sandy was able to get his second. Cal O'Reilly, as he pointed immediately to Linus Hogberg, who made a fantastic shot for the deflection, was able to shoot on that. O'Reilly's able to get the deflection. Adam Glendening got an assist on that as well. And then aforementioned Adam Glendening on an assist from Kyle Riley. He's able to get one where he clearly called bank, right? Uh, when it goes banking off the boards and he gets it in um, for the goal that becomes the game-winning goal there because uh, Alexander Nylander is able to battle in front and get it at the end. So it's very fortunate Glendening was able to get that bank call. But <clears throat> as we wrap up this video, the keys to the Phantoms win were first and foremost Garrett Melkamp. Number two, the play all around by Linus Sandin and then the ability to continue his goal-scoring poise after scoring last game, scores two in this game, almost got a hat trick getting one blocked as he got a steal I'm at the blue line and almost scored on the empty net. So his play, Garrett Melkaff's play, the first two keys. And the third is just perseverance. Wasn't a great game. Melkaff kept you in for the first two periods. The Phantoms battled. They found a way to score in the third, and they won this game. So those are the reasons why the Phantoms were able to win this game against Wilkesbury and extend their point streak to nine games to continue to have from the putrid start at the beginning of the season an eight-game losing streak. But even before that, they were not playing well. Um, in the few games before that either, the Phantoms now are playing good hockey in their last nine games and building in the right direction to kind of have a rebound season and be going in the right direction for the rest of the season. Because as Bruce Boudreau said when he got hired by the Canucks, um, all you got to do is start winning from that point. You just got to figure it out um, from the point of the season you're at now, and the Phantoms have been doing that for the last nine games, so as long as they can keep figuring this out, keep playing better, and even in games they don't play great like tonight, where it's all Mel Melkaff and Linus Sandin setting the tempo in this game, and then they're able to figure it out in the third, you have to have that perseverance in games you don't play well, so it's great to see them have that, they didn't have that early in the season, and they definitely didn't have the better overall play that we've seen in a lot of these nine games, not necessarily tonight, where again they won because of mainly Garrett Melkaff and the energy that Sandin provided, but 
Um, they've been playing much better as long as that can continue. A win's a win. It doesn't matter if it's pretty. Melkaeff was great. Sandine was great. O'Reilly continues to add to his points, a plethora of them he's had at the AHL level. And Linus Hogberg continues to look better over time as well. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on these use widgets to help us grow to 195 by the end of the month. This has been the Phantoms versus Wilkesbury Scranton recap. As the Phantoms win a great game 4-3 to three, thanks to the bank empty net shot by Adam Glendenning that ended up being the game winning goal, but mostly thanks to Garrett Melkaeff and Linus Sandine. Peace out, everybody, and go Phantom.